Write the last word. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you. And, and maybe I could address a few of the concerns uh, or issues that were brought up from the gentlelady uh, from Ohio. Um, I, I think everyone who supports this amendment is willing to work with the administration if the administration wants to work with us to start to dredge uh, our ports to make sure that we can actually have more flow of commerce through the American ports that haven't been serviced well. If the administration wants to tap into the Harbor Maintenance Trust Fund and use those resources for other purposes, I think you would see a strong objection from those who support this amendment because those of us who uh, especially live in the Great Lakes, uh, Mr. Nolan and I, the gentleman from Minnesota, uh, have the great honor of sharing uh, the Duluth Superior Port. We understand how important um, dredging is to making sure that port functions. And when we don't have enough resources going in to service our port, it gives us great pause because these are jobs in our community. This is economic growth in our community. And if we don't have that, um, we're concerned. So if the administration is willing to work with us, we are willing to work with the administration, no doubt. But again, if they want to take those resources and use them for uh, another purpose, um, uh, we would have great uh, cause and pushback because what you've seen um, with uh, the Harbor Maintenance Trust Fund is that it is funded by the shippers. They pay taxes, they pay fees in the anticipation that those dollars, those revenues are going to be used to service our ports. The problem is it hasn't been used to service our ports. So they're paying money into a fund that over the last 15 years has run a surplus and now there's seven billion dollars in the fund and they sit back and they scratch their head and they wonder why isn't this money being used for its intended purpose which is to make sure American ports work. We've paid for it, we've agreed to pay the taxes, now do government what you've promised us to do which use it to make sure that we can actually have commerce um, in uh, our industry. I think it's important, uh, the gentleman from Pennsylvania also talked about the Corps of Engineers uh, doing studies and talking about our shippers having a light load, uh, talking about uh, the Great Lakes ports, uh, talking about Duluth Superior, the twin ports, where they're unable to load at uh, full capacity because we haven't effectively dredged that port. And that's loss of revenue for our shippers. But not only that, that's driving up the cost of the goods that we're shipping on the Great Lakes, which means the end consumer is paying more for those goods. Um, this doesn't make a lot of economic sense, especially again when we have uh, 80, I'm sorry, seven billion dollars of surplus in that fund. Um, uh, this is one of those issues where um, I think government can do a better job serving the people. Um, putting money into a fund, um, paying taxes to specifically go into a fund for a specific purpose and then have that fund raided and robbed and used for a different purpose is unconscionable. It's unacceptable. And that's not the, Ameri the, the agreement Americans uh, here in the shipping industry had with their government. Um, it's unfair uh, at, uh, at best. Just to maybe make one last point, this is a jobs amendment. This amendment will again make sure that we can uh, have a, a, a growing, effective, efficient economy in shipping in the ports across the country but it also makes sure that we have um, lower cost goods because we're effectively using our ports and our shippers across this country. And, and would the uh, gentlelady from Ohio like me to yield? Oh, just for 30 seconds. I would, I, would, I would yield to the gentlelady. I thank the gentleman for yielding. And just to say, I'm really glad we've had this discussion tonight. Uh, others have heard it. I think it'll help encourage administration cooperation, being a representative who has the ports of uh, Lake Erie in her district, Cleveland, Lorraine, uh, Sandusky, uh, Toledo, and many points in between. I fully understand uh, the challenge here. One of our budgetary challenges is that we have to have a budget that allocates these dollars. And right now, that hasn't come from your side of the aisle. So in order to use these dollars, it has to be incorporated in the budget resolution that comes to us. Our mark was too low in our bill in order to be able to move those dollars. So let's, you know, let's work on that with the budget committees as well so that we get that allocation and it comes to our subcommittee.
Uh, and that's something that we can all work on on both sides of the aisle. I'll reclaim my time. Point well made by the general uh, lady from Ohio. And just to make sure we're clear, this amendment is one that uh, prohibits additional uh, or expansion of the definition of use for the Harbor Maintenance Trust Fund. So uh, we can't use it for other uh, purposes than for uh, the ports, which was the original intent. And with that, I yield. Uh, the gentleman from Wisconsin yields back the balance of his time. The question is on the amendment offered by the gentleman from Pennsylvania.